Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Raja Jean and welcome to Life of Jean. So for this video, I am going to talk about how much do I make as a nurse here in the UK. So for this video, uh, I'm going to subdivide my three different payslips. Though, sisingit ako ng ibang payslip that I had before and talk about something else also. Pero the main um, purpose of this is to show you how much I make in those three payslips. The first one is band 5 entry level, second one is band 5 intermediate level, and the third one is band 6 entry level. I did not reach the top band 5 na kasi nag-apply na ako for band 6, so yun yung ipapakita ko. So based ito sa experience ko lang, and I don't know for other people if different from kanila, pero ito is solely based on my payslip and in, from my trust. So first things first is I'm going to talk about um, a little bit about salary bands, just for you to know yung sinasabi ko na band 5. So, for equivalent into Philippine setup, I think ito yung mga salary grades. Yun yung basic interpretation ng bands dito sa NHS. Uh, as I've searched, salary bands refer to the minimum and maximum amount a company will pay someone within a job level. So, yun yung leveling. So, within bands naman, um, it has inter, ano, entry, intermediate, and top. So, yun lang yung three categories. And in different um, categories, you will reach those in certain amount of years. Like, before you reach intermediate, you need two years of service. And then, and before you reach a top level, you need another two years. So, bali four years yung tatlong level na yun. You will just be on the ceiling or the top band ng level mo ngayon unless mag-apply ka for band 6. So, you'll just stay there until you apply for an, a higher level of job. Otherwise, nag-stuck ka lang dun. So, for those who are aspiring to go on a higher level, mag-apply lang kayo. Yun lang yung solution if you want another pay. Pero, if you don't want stress, then it's okay to, have, to go for band 5. Okay pa din naman yung salary ng band 5. Pero, just advice lang, you can go higher if you're doing the job na. <laughs> so, yun. So, before we go to my pay slips, I'm just gonna show you yung leveling ng band 5. So, so if you can see in the screen, ito yung sinasabi ko na um, levelings nila. So, bands can be as low as 1 and then the highest will be 9. Yan na yung highest paid na mga, mga stuff ng NHS. So, um, we are still in band 5. And now I'm in the entry level of band 6. So basically, this is my pay in this level. Entry level, which is 33,706. But it's different. Ah, thir oh, say, 23 pala yan. So ngayon pala is 35,392. I'm gonna talk about you about it later kasi iba, na, iba din yung pay scale if you're within London kasi may additional siya. I-discuss ko na lang yun with my pay slip. So, yeah, ito yung leveling. You can search it in Google. Makikita nyo yung uh, my explanations din kung paano yung pay, um, pay scale niya dito. Okay, so we will start at the top of the pay slip. So, for this one is the assignment number. Ito po yung parang staff number. Uh, number ko in the trust, in the, in the hospital. And then, with my employee name, the name of the hospital, the department I work in, my job title, my band pay scale ko, and then my wage annually, inclusion date, kasi financial year starts in April, so ito yung start ng financial year, that's throughout yun yung kinakuan ng pay, pay wage niya, then 37.5 hours, which is the minimum hours I should be rendering per week so, new wage ulit, tapos yung tax office reference and tax code, then my NI number for the tax Bits. I will not discuss that because I'm not very versed in the tax. Pero nung nag-start ako, yung tax code ko is 1250L Cumul. I think iba na ngayon yung tax code ng band 5. So, I'm not just sure with that. So, you can you can search naman if you are interested about that. So, but for this video, I'm just going to talk about my payslip breakdown. So, just to show the other Filipino nurses who are aspiring to come to the UK kung magkano yung nakukuha natin in a month. And then, NI number is the insurance number. Now, we'll go to the left side of the payslip. The minimum rate I had before was um, basic pay is 12.7378. So, yun yung uh, per hour ko noon. And for night shift, uh, Saturday and Sunday, 
meron din differentials yung mga yan. Kaya, kung makikita nyo, um, how do they make the breakdown from this? Pero, it means lang, na pag na-separate ito, it means that may in sila sa 12.7378. And then, yung inner London naman, for ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina. For those who are working in London, may inner London allowance. Kasi napakalaki yung cost of living dito sa London. They needed to give us more para makasurvive dito sa city. I think this equivalents to around maybe 3K, 4K a year yung inner London allowance. But for this pay, it is 415.12. And for every advance mo naman sa intermediate or top or band 6, um, yung inner London allowance is mag-increase na. So, depende din sa pay scale mo. Now, we go to the right side. So, we have our deductions on the right. Pay, meaning, pay is the HMRC system to collect income tax and national insurance from the employment. Yung pay is basically yung system kung ba- paano nila dinededuct yung taxes and national insurance. But for this part of the pay slip, ito lang yung tax kasi if you can see below payee, ito yung national insurance. Sineparate nila yung national insurance para makita mo yung breakdown ng dalawa. So, the tax is the payee, which is 373.6. Malaki-laki din siya. And then, the national insurance is 280.96. For the national insurance, this is mandatory. Kasi this is for everyone. Uh, every employed person should have this. If mapapansin yung may A dun sa may tabi ng NI, this is just a category ng HMRC. Ito yung contribution rate natin eh, na category. So, A is for age 21 until the pensionable age, which is 66. So, if you can see in the screen that I'm showing you now, uh, makikita nyo yung age bracket and the letters that it's that is equivalent to it. So, pag X is under 16 years old, um, M naman is 16 to 20. A is our age from 21 until to 66, and then C is beyond the pensionable age. Well, and we have a staff, staff member who are who is still 70 years old and working, so yun, sila yung bracketed na C. Yun yung NI. For the next one is the NHS pension. Oh, I have 7.1%, <laughs> and which is equivalent to 222.47. For this NHS pension, um, it's not mandatory, it's your choice. It is automatically renewed every two years. For me, para sa akin hindi ko pa siya kailangan and I'm not sure if I'm gonna stay here in this country. Kaya I opted out from pension deductions. Nung nag-opt out ako, uh, binalik naman lahat ng mga binayad ko nung una. So you can do that. Like, kung bali, nagbayad ka na for 7 months and then in the 8th month, you decided to opt out. Lahat ng binayad mo ng 7 months, ibabalik din sa'yo. That is good kasi parang nakapag-save ka din. It's up to you kung gusto mong mag-pension if you decide to be here. Though, even if you decided not to stay here but you stayed for the minimum amount of time and you reach the pensionable age, makukuha mo yun by the age of 66. May makukuha ka na from the contributions you've made. So, nasa'yo yun kung tutuloy mo o hindi. But I don't find it useful for me kung hindi pa ako nakadecide. Kasi, I don't know. I'm just not sure. Anyway, eh, eventually, in the future, pag nag-change yung mind ko, dun naman. Pwede naman. Kasi every two years naman, uh, ino-auto renew yan. So, if I decided in two years na mag-opt out ulit, magsasend lang ulit ako ng letter sa kanila. And then, in another two years, if I decided to push through, then hindi ko na kailangan mag-opt out. I-continue ko lang mag but for now, I needed, I need the money more than my pension. Now we go down to the details of my pay, yung total na. So this was July of 2020. Ito yung basic pay ko na in total. With night shifts, differential na yan, and weekends, and inner London allowance. Basically, yan yung minimum pay namin in 2020. Siguro for now, kasi nag-increase na siya. Siguro mga... 2425 na to for basic band 5 yung nasa entry level. There's another payslip that I'm gonna show you for entry level band 5. Papakita ko lang siya kasi I just want to show you the difference. So for this payslip, if you see on the screen again, the top part is still the same. Then konti lang yung, yung weekend ko. Yung weekend ko and nights. 
I'm gonna explain it to you later. Here, on the right side, ito yung papakita ko sa inyo. TA is still the same. Nandyan pa din yan. NI is still the same. Mandatory mga yan kasi tax at saka insurance. And then, here, you can see, the pension is naalis na. Kasi nag-opt out na ako. Uh, as I remember with my last pay slip, it's 222. So, malaki-laki din yun. And then, now, you can see here, overseas recruitment. Ito na yung binayad ng agency for us. Tama ba yun? Yun. Binayad ng agency for us when we were processing yung mga... Kasi, di ba, for me ha, parang pag naalala ko, yung total ng binayad ko sa lahat is around like 50k. Konti na yun in compared to when you process um, in other western countries. Mababa na yun. And most of it is paid by the agency. Which is paid by the trust naman din. Basically, yung agency yung nagbayad for us. And ito yun. Ito yung nade-deduct. And then, if you go down here, itong message from the employer, dito nyo makikita yung total ng binayad para sa atin. As far as I remember, it was 800 for us. Yeah, around 800 pounds. Kaya po makikita nyo dito is, yun yung basically parang total niya. There were amounts na binigay sa amin when we came. It was just given to us to start then. It's like an advance payment. Um, which is surprising kasi akala ko talaga madededuct din dito. Kaya I was surprised gano'n ka ba yung dinededuct sa amin. Which is I'm thankful kasi because of that we we started well when we came in the UK. They gave us a head start. Kaya I'm very thankful naman. And then if you can see, I just want to emphasize, Um, this is November 2020. So, July yung kanina. July, August, September, October. November. Three months? Three months in between. Can see na mababa yung pay ko na. Kahit ito yung dinedap. Kanina is 222. Ngayon is 99.25 lang yung pumalit, di ba? Pero my pay was 2,200. Now is 1,968. Ito yung makita nyo the difference ng mga differential. Night, uh, weekends. Malaki din yung tulang ng pag-work ng nights and weekends. Kaya siya mas mababa is yun yung wala ako nun. Kasi a month before November, I had a 3 weeks annual leave kasi hindi ako makauwi. Dahil hindi ako makauwi kasi may course ako. So, after 3 weeks ng annual leave, I had a course that I need to do na hindi kasi allowed yung mahabang annual leave in between. Kaya, I needed to take the annual leaves kasi mawawala lang yun. Until the next financial year, hindi ako pwedeng mag-annual leave ng ganun kahaba. So, I needed to take it before the course started. Kaya yun, very basic lang yung pay ko that time. When we did the course, we only had sometimes weekends, pero mostly is weekdays and no nights. Kaya, uh, very basic yung pay ko for from that forward until the course finish at around August of 2021. But it's okay now kasi ngayon marami talaga akong weekends and nights. And mas ko kinukuha ko talaga yun kasi yun nga, malaki ang tulong niya. That is my band 5 pay. So now we move to our next pay slip. This is from August 2023. So, ito yung intermediate level band 5 ko na pay. I think this is my last pay as a band 5. Around that time, ito yung last payment ko as a band 5. If you see, the details are still the same. Pero yung depart, ang naiba lang dito is yung department ko na is anesthetics. Ito, dito na kasi yung parang na-transfer na ako sa department. From the scrub side, napunta na akong anesthetics. So, iba na yung department ko. Yung job title ko na din is theater nurse pero in anesthetics and then i'm still band 5 but my pay wage is different if i'll just bring up my old pay slip makikita nyo na 24907 but for this pay slip it's 30639 so it's a big jump uh, but i think this is also the year that we increase 2023 this has 5% increase so 6000 ang difference okay no so let's talk about this na so the pay wage yearly is 30,639. Still the same, yung inclusion date will always be April. 37.5 hours, still the minimum working hours per week. And the wage is still 30,000 annually. Then the tax, yung tax code, dito na, iiba na siya. I'm not sure if because nag-increase, pero dito sa akin, 866L nan kum. So yung NI number ko is still the same. So now we go to the right side. Now you can see the difference na on my basic pay. This is now 15.6693 compared to my previous rate which is 12.7378. So that is my hourly rate now. So that's like, yeah, around 3 pounds. Then as you can see, marami na akong night shift, Saturday weekends, tapos inner London din. Before, diba, it's like 415. Now, 510. So that's 100 increase. And then this one is on call. Nag on call na din kasi ako. So, I have on call rate. It is different na. I think it's times 1.5 your your hourly rate yung on call. Kasi natawag ka for like 8 hours. 8 hours times yung rate mo times 1.5 yun yung magiging pay mo in that 8 hours. And if you can see here naman sa right side ulit, we can see our tax and our national insurance. If we compare it to my previous pay, the previous one was 310 lang. Imagine. 
And now, my pay is 541. That's 200 increase. Ang laki nun. And then, my previous and I was 216. Ngayon, it's 327. Ang laki. Kaya super mafe-feel mo talaga yung inflation. After all this Saturday's nights on calls, parang wasted kasi nag-increase din yung tax mo, yung insurance mo, parang wala din. Though, it's still thankful pa din kasi nga, well, we have the job. And now we go to our total pay. This was August of 2023 last year. My total pay was 2,562.39. Which should have been 3,400 pero syempre, tinaksan, tinaksan. Deduction, deduction. Total deduction is 800. Ang laki nun. Times 75 mo, 75 yung palitan. Ang laki nun, that's really like 50k? Yeah, around 50k. 50 plus. So, malaki. Ang laki, no? Yung tax nila. Ito na yung pay ko as an intermediate band 5 last year. Nung nag-increase sila ng 5%. So, now, we will go to our last pay slip, which is entry level 4, band 6. So, the interview was August. So, hindi automatic yun kasi dami mo pang ipa-update sa HR, uh, OcuHealth, daming ipaprocess pa. It took me more than a month. End of August yung interview. October 2 yung na-update na yung kwan ko sa Band 6. So, we are going to look at my December pay para sure. Kasi November, yun yung October na pay. So, to make sure, we will get the December pay slip. So, on the top side, uh, still the same. Still the same assignment number, reply name, location, and then department and job title. Pero dito na is my pay scale is month 6. Now, you can see my wage yearly is 35,392. So, if we compare it to my previous it was 30,639 compared to 35,392. Malaki yun. Super laki if tinitingnan mo. Kasi band 6 na yan. I didn't go through top band 5. So if you go to band 5, I think it would be like around 33,000 or 32. So parang if iko compare mo na sa entry level ng band 6, it would be 2,000 pounds difference. Pero dito kasi, may ginampan akong level kaya parang malaki siya. Pero actually, hindi na yan pag na-reach mo na yung top 5. I'm thankful na na hindi ko na na-reach yun before pa ako nag band 6. Wage, enter, and yung tax code ko, iba na rin ngayon kasi iba na yung band natin. So, it now is 769L Nancum. Then, NI number is still the same. So, you can see here, marami kayong nakikita compared to the other one. Kahit uh, maraming nights, sa weekends, on calls, dito mas marami na naman dahil siguro as a band 6 din kasi your responsibilities go higher and then the workload gets heavier. Pero I think there wasn't really a big difference in terms of yung mga skills. It's more of the management side. Dun ka mag-evolve. Like how to handle your staff, how to talk to them, how to deal with conflicts, mga ganun. So now we go down. Now my pay rate here is 18.1 compared to my previous one which is 15.6 now is 18 so that's like a 2.5 pound increase per hour so malaki din you see here night Saturday emergency I don't know but ang dami ang dami no yung inner London allowance natin from the previous pay slip is 510 now is 589 so it increased around 70 pounds now you can see also my on call marami akong on call my deductions naman now it's very basic I just pay my tax and national insurance and that's it. But if you can see my pay, nag-increase nga yung pay ko, pero mag-increase naman yung tax. So the more you increase your um pay, the more naman naman increase yung tax. Kaya, yun naman yung downside nun. You cannot really <laughs> go away from that. Imagine, from 541 lang nung last, naging 800. So, another 300. Like, every pay slip na pinapakita ko, 300 yung dagdag. Now, we go down. You can see, this is December of 2023. My total taxable income is 4,221. And the deduction is 1,2. 1,2. That's like 85,000 pesos. So, yung natira lang sa akin is 2,020. So, yun. Ito na yung pay ko as of today. So, ranging from that to... Depende kasi. Like, if you had annual leave, so magiging basic na naman yung pay mo. Then, for me, I had like a lot of annual leaves or absences. So, it went down to like around 2, 2, 7, 2, 8. Naging ganun na yung pay ko ng mga time na hindi ako nagpumapasok. And then, pag nag-work naman ako, it goes around like 2, 9, 2, 3, 2. So far, yun yung highest ko. As band 6 entry level, yun yung nagiging range ng pay ko. 
And the highest I got is like 3 to. So that is my payslip for band 6. And those are my payslips for the past 5 years. Yung different signs niya. And uh, different amounts if you compared yung mga major things that we've compared in our payslip. I hope you've learned something from this sharing of my payslip. I hope this inspires you to come to the UK. Kahit malaki yung tax and insurance, it's still a good place to work kasi rini-regard nila yung work-life balance. They really consider sickness here. They really want to push yung work-life balance. Kaya dito mo talaga mafe-feel na your pay is what you work for. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something from the breakdowns of my different pay slips from the past five years. Pero disclaimer lang before we go, the amount that you get from here is not the net that you get. Kasi yun yung makuha mo from your employer. Pero by the end of the day, hindi yun yung matitira sa'yo. Just to let you know, kasi baka isipin nyo is buong-buo na yun nasa inyo. Kasi you need to pay your expenses here like rent, utilities, gas, electricity, internet, service mo. Yung mga yun, don't think na buo yun na nakukuha namin. Kasi marami din kaming binabayaran. So eventually, it will just go around like 1K, 500. Yun na lang yung naiwan actually. Uh, but that is for another video. But for now, this is the breakdown of my pay slips in the past 5 years. And I hope you learned something from it. I hope you hit that subscribe button and see you on my next video. Bye-bye.